Hi, it's me again with Corel Drill Tips and Tricks. I just did a video, so this is part two from a question. Somebody's trying to draw a train track. I've already drawn out the lines. It's all, I use the parallel or the straight drawing line. And uh, Anyway, he wanted a half inch apart. A couple of ways you could do that. One of them would be with the parallel lines that we just did. But I'm going to do it the way I would do it, and there's a reason for it. I'm going to go to Effects and Contour. And I'm going to contour to the outside a half an inch. That's a half inch track all the way around. Now, if I was going to add the wood to make it look like a train track, what I would do is I would do this. I would go two steps at 0.25. Okay. Then I'm going to grab it all. And I'm going to break the contour apart. And then I'm going to, you see how big this thing was, well, huge. I want to make my nudge factor like 15 inches. And I'm going to nudge that center one out of the way. Well, I didn't get it because these are grouped together. Go to object, group, and ungroup. And try to get that center one. And then nudge it out of the way. So now I have the center design. I'm not going to use it in the future, but we're going to go to Windows, Dockers. Uh, oh, Properties. And go right here and find out that this line is 67.3 inches long. Okay? So we're going to take and make our trestle. And we want it like, I don't even know, maybe that's not even what you call it. Uh, the wood that uh, goes underneath them. So... We're going to make it 0.6 long. Wow. Is that all it is? Let's tell you what. We're going to make it 0.7 by, let's see what that looks like, by quite a bit thinner. So let's make it 0.2. I'm actually going to probably color it in with black and do that. Now, I am going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it over. And then I... And then I'm going to grab them both, and I'm going to go to Effects and Blend. And let's say we want one every inch, and we have 67 inches. So I'm going to just write in 67. I'm going to hit Apply. And then instead of using the track itself, I'm going to use this track right here, the inside one. New path. Put on the path. Blend along full path and rotate all objects. Okay, and the reason I use that, because now it's in the center, now I can select it all, go up to object, break the blend apart, go in and take it, in object, and ungroup it, and then grab our center line and hit delete. I'd go ahead and hit control G to group this. Our nudge factor is still the same, and look at that. Now, I should have maybe made them a little bit longer, but see, they... They, well, that might be perfect. They're even pretty evenly spaced. We're 0.13 off or something uh, on the length, but it, it blended them pretty well. That's just an idea. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.